Welcome to the Burton Ernie episode of Unrefined. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Unrefined. I'm Dan, and joining me is my friend Matt. What's up, Matt? What's up, man? I'm here to drink some bourbon. Likewise. Here's what we do on the show. We know it's a bourbon. We taste the bourbon. We note the finish. And then we rate it out of 10 barrels. Well done. This is usually the part of the video where I ask you to like and subscribe and comment and do all those things. But what I really want you to do is if you've tried today's bourbon, Old Elk Weeded Bourbon, get into the comment section and give us your review of this fine bourbon. Matt and I actually did the first ever unrefined episode, which will live in infamy as a 50 minute jaunt through two different bottles of bourbon that never saw the light of day. Should never see the light of day. It was a great Friday. Today, we're drinking this Old Elk from Matt's fine collection. Matt, let's just start with why you love bourbon so much. I started bourbon, it was my winter drink, cold weather, drink some bourbon, and now it's uh, evolved year round. This was probably 2012, got my first bottle. I think I've collected up to about 30 bottles now. This one, I have not sat down and nosed it, tasted it, or rated it, so I'm really excited to do that. A little background on Old Elk. A 92 proof bourbon, the mash bill consists of 51% corn, 45% wheat, 4% malted barley. This particular bottle aged five years. MSRPs for $60 to $70. Please, do the honors. Absolutely. Real wood. Maybe not. Open it up a little bit. Mm, get a little oxygen in there. Yeah, why not? Well, let's dive in. Let's get cozy. It smells sweet to me. It does smell really sweet. The first thing that actually jumps to my mind, and I've never said this on a review, so I feel like I'm getting better. Caramel. I really smell a lot of caramel. Yeah, or I think caramel. It's sweet. I said caramel. Oh, you go back hold, on. For a second hold on, oh, hold let's on, hold on. You got a better nose than I. Cereal, Honey Nut Cheerios. I Honey Nut Cheerios is what I got mm. in here. <laughs> Damn it! Happens, uh, happens every episode. Sometimes I cut it out. Sometimes I don't. Just straight up honey too. I just smell honey. Honey. Okay. Heavy on the honey side. Now, now it's just like I feel like I just opened a box of Cheerios. Mm. It's got a good nose. That was a good guttural sound too. <laughs> Get excited to get something out of my cabinet. Is that a euphemism? Mm -hmm. No. Well, wait till you put the blindfold on. <laughs> <laughs> Next episode. Let's do it. Cheers. Happy New Year. I think you <coughs> I think you inceptioned me with butterscotch. My mind feels incepted because I taste butterscotch. And I taste cereal. Do you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would like... It's a little MGP to me. Okay. Which, this is not MGP. It's Old Elk, but Greg Metz is from MGP originally. Mm. I mean, it's really smooth. It's very good. I think it's the weeded bourbons are smooth. So good. And I, I feel like they're a little bit sweeter than other bourbons. Mm. Medium like mouthfeel. Now that I'm sitting with it, I'm definitely getting something different on the back end of the finish. It's got a warm finish now. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is. Oh, my esophagus is comfy cozy right now. Yeah. Like a nice warm blanket. Yeah. Blanket there's there's almost it's no bite to it. glass. Look at that. It is, yeah. Zoom in on that. Super, super long yeah. legs. Well, I can do it in post. It's okay. Oh. <laughs> The finish is just like stuck to my, my teeth and my gums on the bottom part of my mouth. And I can't figure out exactly what it is. So I'm going to come up with something in my head. You come up mm -hmm. with something in your head. And we name our barrels. At the same time? Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, seven, seven and a half. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Boom! <laughs> yes! Didn't even plan it. The powers that be at Breaking Bourbon didn't review this one. So we're going to go to the real review this time using our friends at Bourbon and Banter. According to Bourbon Banter... The nose has weeded grain, bubble gum, and floral perfume. Go back in. Oh, it. it no. No. It's no. still sweet. It's sweeter out of the bottle. Cheers. Yeah, it's like I'm sucking the ass of a bee, the taste. We said butterscotch and cereal. They say English toffee, maple syrup, and black pepper. So toffee was on the nose. <clears throat> I did yes, mention I, I will say <clears throat> I didn't taste any pepper in this bourbon whatsoever. No. No peppery, no spices, no baking spices, no pepper, nothing. Because Maybe I go back and taste the, it again now that it's in my head. But the, but the, the baking spices to me is what gives it a nice like little punch. And to me, this didn't have a punch at all. No. This was one of the smoothest bourbons we've tried so far. Mm -hmm. For the finish, we said butter, nice warm blanket. They said black pepper with a medium to long finish. Okay. Yeah. Medium right. to long finish, we sort of got. <clears throat> yeah. So you said medium mouthfeel. Sure. Maybe a little bit longer than medium because it's hanging around the front of your teeth for a little while. Yeah. Black pepper, I didn't, I didn't get that. To me, the nice warm blanket was like sitting in your den with the Christmas lights on, no other lights on, sitting in a recliner with a blanket on you as the, the nighttime football game is on. Oh, That's what it felt like to me. Heaven. Yeah. Matt, thanks for joining me on Not this really. episode of Unrefined. Next episode, make sure you come back for it. We're going to do a blind taste test with our previous five bourbons, and we'll test and see just how good our palate's getting.